Hello, this is a video about integration by parts. We're going to see what uh, integration by parts uh, is and then do one example of integration by parts. So let's get started. Uh, so as you know, integration by parts is a method uh, to, to solve integrals uh, for uh, integrals that look like a product of two functions. And, uh, and the method itself follows from the product rule of differentiation. So we here uh, we have uh, the formula that comes from uh, the product rule and uh, usually this formula is simplified to a version that is easier to remember the integral of u dv is uh, u times v minus v du so to use this method uh, you have to successfully do a couple of steps so when this method works is when you can pick a u and a dv such that you can first find the derivative of u with respect to x and that is um, uh, that's the easy part you also need to find v uh, given dv so you have to uh, be able to ca calculate the integral of dv with respect to x and uh, uh, finally you uh, need to be able to evaluate this integral of v times du that hopefully uh, thanks to your choices, it's easier to uh, evaluate than the original integral. Of course, um, in order for 1 and 2 to be successful and lead to a successful step number 3, you need to pick u such that when you take the derivative, you find an easier function. Uh, when you integrate v, you get an easier function such that the integral of v du is easier uh, overall. So once you have uh, done all those pieces, then you've uh, succeeded at using integration by parts and you can calculate um, the, the original integral using the formula. So let's see, uh, let's see one example of how to use integration by parts. So in here, you want to uh, start by uh, doing your choices of u and dv. Uh, what are my choices going to be? Uh, so I'm going to pick uh, a u and a dv such that together they have to multiply to 2x uh, times e to the 3x dx. Um, I'm going to choose u that I, some function that is easy to differentiate. So for instance, I can pick 2x and I'm going to choose dv to be a uh, function that is easy to integrate such as e to the 3x dx. And now uh, I can uh, find what is du. Du is the integral, the derivative of 2x with respect to x, which is just 2 dx. And v is going to be the integral of dv, which is the integral of um, e to the 3x dx which uh, one, either you know it's an immediate integral or you can calculate it using uh, some u substitution with u equals 3x uh, but that answer is uh, one third of e to the 3x plus a constant but v is actually just one integral we don't need uh, the full generality of all the integrals all the antiderivatives of v to the 3x once we know uh, what are my choices of u and dv then I can, uh, I've succeeded to calculate all those and now, uh, now the, the hard part is to see if I can calculate this one integral. So let's get started um, with the integral of 2x e to the 3x dx that will be uh, u times v, so here is u times v so u is 2x times a third of e to the 3x minus the integral of v du. v is again a third of e to the 3x times du times 2 times dx. Okay, that is, um, I can simplify this already a little bit. This is 2 thirds of x e to the 3x minus, uh, I can take a 2 thirds out of this integral And now I see that my choices were good because this is an integral that I can do. I've done it already before. So the answer will be 2 thirds of x e to the 3x minus 2 thirds 
times the integral here is a third of e to the 3x plus constants. Now, we do want the constants because we want all the antiderivatives of this function. And uh, finally, we can simplify this a uh, little bit. This is 2 thirds of x e to the 3x minus 2 ninths of e to the 3x plus constants. So we've succeeded in using integration by parts because uh, our choices of u gave me an easy uh, function to uh, differentiate. My choice of v was easy to, to integrate. And my integral uh, of v du was something that I could do. So that's it. Thank you.